Morning is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. Yeah, we have Tom on t from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Good. Hi, Tom. How you guys doing? Nico? Doing great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter's outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the run of I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Edge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 927-6648 internationally at 727-445-1044 now your hosts nico dehan and paige clark good morning i'm nico dehan welcome to living a primal lifestyle where we explore a return to a more balanced natural wild world to recover our natural health and regain our rights and freedoms. Good morning, I'm Paige Clark. And it's a beautiful morning in downtown Clearwater. Well, it's raining and it's 74 degrees, but we're getting the cold front and uh, we're gonna have some fall temperatures here. Well, it was really nice to get back after my vacation. Make sure you pick up our um, Health Signals newsletter. You can subscribe, $10 a month, gets you two issues uh, twice a month, and pick up some of our Primal Edge, yes, Daily indeed. Nutrition. Uh, over 310 organic cell-ready ingredients, all powered by humic and fulvic acid to let the good stuff in. And the bad stuff out. That's right. And give us a call if you're up and at it. We are taking your phone calls at 877-927-6648. So you went up north, uh, saw the leaves turn. I did, and I was really happy to see that you uh, are sharing this fall foliage map. 2017 and nationwide peak leaf forecast. And folks... You were up in Tennessee, right? I was in Tennessee, right which... No, no, next state next down. Year. Next state oh, down. There right you go. Yeah, Tennessee. Go. And so um, that's exactly right. It was minimal to patchy leaf change. A little bit, we were a little on the early side this Just year. Just a little bit more now towards the end of the, end of the month here. It'll right. So probably fun. we're seeing seeing some, some better leaves. And I've always known that. You know, tomorrow's my birthday, by the way. Oh, yeah. Happy and... So usually the week of my birthday is, is in ah. my mind, optimal. Okay. And uh, usually being in the Carolinas and Virginia, I would see that. But um, anyways, it was a really great time. The weather was absolutely perfect. Oh, nice. You know, high 72, mm -hmm. low 55, oh, that is clear, nice. yeah. clear skies, not mm -hmm. a cloud in the sky. I just like that. Saw some waterfalls Feeling and hiking. Feeling brisk air is what we need. Happy you know. grandbabies, yeah. happy grandparents oh, good. and great-grandparents. Well, it's always good to share time with the family. And Oh, yeah, and uh, but it's good to be back, too. And um, But I like this article you shared. I, I think a lot of people may not know why do autumn leaves change their color. Some people, including myself, think it's the most incredible time of the year. It's just breathtaking to see the colors. That I call it the patchwork quilt. Yeah, it's kind of the opposite of the spring where you see the blooming of everything. Now you see everything changing. And it says that the Great Smoky Mountains are flooded with thousands upon thousands of annual visitors, and that's exactly where I was, the Great Smokies. But there's a science to it all, Nico. Yeah, it starts with photosynthesis. Leaves typically produce their uh, vibrant hues of green for, uh, from spring and through the summer into the early fall through a, a constant creation of chlorophyll. Right, chlorophyll. It's like That's the, the, green the blood stuff. of the plant, just like our blood. That's right. As we learned in fifth grade science. <laughs> Everything you need to know about the world, you learned in fifth grade science. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, chlorophyll is the key component in plants' ability to turn sunlight into glucose, which in turn feeds... Uh, the trees and many millions of these chlorophyll cells saturate the leaves, ultimately making them appear green to the eye. But did you know, without the presence of chlorophyll in the leaf, the bright golds, reds, yellows, and browns would be the, nat the natural color that you would see. Yeah, because no chlorophyll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chlorophyll is not the only player in the fall leaf color game. Present in uh, other leaves and trees are compounds known as uh, carotenoids and anthocyanins. I mean, those are the antioxidants that we're looking for, folks. Hmm. So maybe you need to uh, stew a few uh, <laughs> yeah, fall eat a leaves, few leaves into your soup. <laughs> As the fall days begins to get shorter and shorter, the production of chlorophyll slows to a halt and eventually gives way to the true color of the leaves. And you see these beautiful oranges. That's where you're seeing your beta carotene, as in carrots. And, and uh, it's the mo one of the most common carotenoids present in most leaves. And it strongly absorbs blue and green light, and it reflects yellow and red light from the sun, giving leaves their orange hue. Yeah, pretty interesting. So it's now, all the, about light. The yellows are the flavanol. 
Mm -hmm. It's a part of the flavonol protein family, always present in leaves, and also contributes to the yellow color of egg yolks. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. While always present in leaves, it's not seen until the production of chlorophyll begins to slow down. And the anthocyanins, unlike the carotenoids, which are the oranges, anthocyanins produ production increases dramatically in the autumn. And this protects the leaf, prolonging its life on the tree through the autumn season. And it provides the gorgeous red colors that you see in the leaves. So... What happens and why do the leaves actually fall, creating yeah. that time? Yeah, the beauty of nature is sometimes found in the profound intelligence it exudes. True. Perennials, which includes trees, must protect itself in order to get through the harsh, freezing temperatures of the winter. The trees not shed their leaves, their soft vegetation would freeze during the winter time, damaging and probably killing the tree, too. Mm -hmm. So in order to cope with these grueling temperatures, trees slowly close off the veins that carry water and nutrients to and from the leaves, with a layer of new cells that form at the base of the leaf stem, protecting the limbs and the body of the tree itself. And once this process of this new cell creation happens and is complete, the water and nutrients no longer flow to and from the leaf. And this enables the leaf to die and weaken at the stem, eventually falling off, but leaving the tree protected. Yeah. Uh, one of the other things, too, is uh, that uh, this whole thing is kind of a recycling process. So because the leaves turn, uh, things are shut off, and then they fall, and they go through this cycle, of course. And, uh, you know, the Mother Nature is very good at recycling things. Us human beings, eh, not so much. Well, actually, when the leaves fall, they fall to the soil and mixed with the soil and the mm -hmm. moisture, they create the rich humus right. or humic acids mm -hmm. on the forest floor that absorb the dew and the rainfall. Yep. So that's where we get the rich soil. It's a mix from all of these carotenoids and these flavanols and xanthocyanins, you know, they're breaking down and they're making part of the soil. The yeah, in things. fact, it says here that probably uh, the trees wouldn't survive if they didn't have the leaves on the ground replenishing the earth. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is a nice recycling program. Anyway, I just thought it was kind of not nice to go over this because, we, you know, we look at the stuff and down here in Florida, we don't see a lot of turning of the color. I miss we the do, color a lot. We do see some of the changes You know when we see place. the color change? In yeah. January. Yeah. It's almost like we have three seasons. We have spring, summer, and fall. We don't really have a winter. Yeah. And, and, and um, our winter time actually looks like a fall. If you're driving down the interstate, you'll notice, wow, there's some leaf change, but it's not until January. Yeah, and uh, that's, uh, you know, one of the things you kind of have to get used to is you have to get used to the heat, which usually takes you about one summer mm -hmm. for your blood to kind of thin out, and then you kind of get used to it. And my dad always says, boy, as I'm getting older, it just this heat feels better and better. And this may have something to do with declining health in people, too. Mm -hmm. uh, I embrace the heat too. I really do like it. I always embrace the cold also. So uh, I'm just a guy who really likes nature mm -hmm. and uh, taking these cold plunges. And in fact, this morning in the shower, I could feel the, the little temperature change there. In the water. I stayed under there a little long and boy, I go, whoa, this is getting colder and colder, which is nice. Really stimulates you and it, it, it has you wake up. So uh, I think it's always good to look at nature and uh, kind of relate it to how we live. And uh, as I said, that, uh, you know, Mother Nature is a great recycler. We're not. So this is something we really need to learn from well, Mother we, Nature. Well, we, we've got to pay attention to Mother Nature. Yeah. We certainly do. And when we get back, we're going to learn how to eat like a predator, not like a prey. Again, paying attention to what nature does. So stick with us. We'll take a short break and be right back. Just in time to get your primal edge, folks. Right now is the time. Good time. Fall is coming. So this is the time to make a change. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionics, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. And welcome back to the show. Uh, you know, the time of the season when there's a change in what's happening with nature, I always think is a good time to make a change for yourself. So I thought this uh, we'd start off here going through six easy steps, uh, a kind of a motivational guide to start on this primal diet. Sounds like a good plan to me yeah, because I think people like it when you can kind of go step by step and, yeah. and add to it. And uh, the philosophy of this whole thing is really eating like a predator, not like a prey. And that's because predators gorge and fast and praise gaze. Graze. Graze. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> praise graze. <laughs> yeah, praise graze. Yeah. Predators praise. gorge and fast, praise graze. And, yeah. and that's the whole thing. It's so completely opposite of what so many people have been doing for the last 20 years. How's that been working for us? Yeah, it says here, it's a rephrase for modern humans. Predators eat meals and prey grazes on snacks. This means you need to eat meals, which will carry you through to your next meal, but that won't make you tired or sleepy, and here's how you do it. Yes. So the first step in this whole process is eating meat, not bird seed, it says here. Mm -hmm. And really what that mean, means is that you're going to favor the proteins of animals and fish and things like that. Yeah, the author here says, eat more meat. If it's not meat, it's not a meal. Which I guess what we really want to say is that at each meal, we need to get adequate protein. Yeah. The key word is adequate, folks. We're not saying to be Fred Flintstone and eat a brontosaurus steak burger at every meal. We're saying we need adequate protein. And protein is the building block, so it needs to be a building block in each of your meals, whether yes. you have one meal or three. And, the, you know, of course, we're talking about the ruminants. These, these are animals that eat leaves and eat grass. Uh, and this, of course, is beef and lamb, bison, elk, venison, goats. Uh, they're really good at converting plants into essential fats, mm -hmm. uh, complete proteins and bioavailable nutrients that humans are made of. That's right. And uh, by, you know, when we're talking about grass fed whenever possible, this is the better choice for you. And it's also better for the earth. Uh, cows didn't evolve to eat corn and soy. 
and not any more than we did. That's these right. are, their guts were not designed for these kinds of grains. They were designed to eat grass. Yeah, and the other thing is uh, buy fatty cuts of meat and uh, occasionally buy the organ meats. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people, of course, in our culture avoid animal fats, and this is one of the things we do not want to do. There's a lot of bad fats on the marketplace, but animal fats, if they're uh, humanely grown and eating their natural diet, have really good fats that are really essential for health. Yeah, and, and uh, the article says here that, uh, you know, enjoy pork and chicken in moderation, mm -hmm. uh, but are far less healthy due to the excessive omega-6, because again, what are we feeding the, the majority of the pork? Um, well, even if they're out there foraging for themselves, they're more onivores, which means they eat a lot of different things. Like chicken eats a lot, eat a lot of bugs and things, and mm -hmm. uh, pigs eat just about anything. Mm -hmm. And that's the danger if you have a pig that's not brought up in the forest and you've got it confined. Then usually it's eating only things that are put in front of them. And it's going to be and it's going to be those grains and seeds. Yeah, because and it's you're, a lot cheaper. Exactly. Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. So really. Uh, the author says, frankly, you could stop here as many native cultures did. As long as you eat organ meats, marrow, fatty grass-fed, ruminant meats provide 100% of your nutritional needs. But most of us enjoy more variety in our diets, and some vegetables and fruits offer tangible health benefits, even if they don't provide the meaningful calories. Yeah, that's a great statement. I like that, too. Now, the, another part of this is eating more uh, shellfish and fish, and we know that mm -hmm. our ancestors certainly did. Uh, and w what he recommends here in this article uh, is to eat more oily fish like the mackerel and the sardines and wild salmon. Although you still got to be careful of the methylmercury content because yep. so many of these um, oilier fish, uh, especially the larger ones, are accumulating mercury. Again, lower on the food chain, sardines being mm -hmm. an oily fish, right. uh, but also having that rich content of DHA yeah. and lower uh, say risk. Stay away from more of the tuna. You can eat that once in a while. Yeah, that's a big fish. Yeah, it's a big fish and they uh, eat a lot of things and there's a lot of mercury in yeah. them. In the Paleolithic world, we could eat all the fish we wanted, uh, but we <laughs> humans have polluted the entire earth so badly, <laughs> yeah. according to coal, you know, powered burning uh, facilities, uh, that one of our healthiest food sources is now, unfortunately, toxic, yeah. a lot of our seafood. So we often talk about things not to eat, and that's a, a big thing when you're, you're switching a diet. And it says here, do not eat anything made with flour. No bread, no pasta, no cereal, no crackers, no cookies, no donuts, and danishes, nothing. This is the most important step. Mm -hmm. Flowers are ground up seeds. What eats seeds? Well, basically... The animals that are hunted. Yeah. The prey. Yeah, the birds and rodents. Yeah, if much. it's poisonous to humans until we grind it into powder and cook it, and it causes mineral deficiencies and birth defects unless we add vitamins, it's not food. Yeah. Read more about lectins, phytic acid, and the role of grains in autoimmunity and heart disease. Yeah, another thing to think about is these grains, uh, so-called food, are only there for a very short time, usually two or three weeks. Uh, and when animals eat them, the large ruminants, they really eat them whole. They don't break them down like a rat would or a uh, right. chicken would. Uh, it doesn't really have the stomach to, uh, you know, they come, basically they come out whole at the, at the rear end. Yeah, so, so it's really, it's spreading, it's, it's like fertilizing and exactly. spreading seeds yeah. so that there's But we grind planting. them up and all those little things that are in there to protect those seeds, that's the bad stuff and that remains in there. And this is why probably if you're going to eat any kind of grain, the safest one is the white rice that the Chinese knew thousands of years ago was the best way to extend your food when you're running out of the meat. You're extending the food. You've got to add something to it. And a lot of people use beans and rice and things like that. Rice is the number one in the world because it has less of the stuff in it that's going to cause you problems because it's already scraped off. Right. It's the anti-nutrient, which, by the way, you know, I was talking with Carolyn, yeah. our friend over here at Carolyn's Kitchen. Uh, who she she really has a traditional foods kitchen, mm -hmm. and she was explaining that in some of her baked goods, mm -hmm. she's using uh, nut flours, but that she had read a book, um, The Plant Paradox is the name of the book. It's a new book. Um, I think Dr. Gunthry wrote it, MD, and it's called The Plant Paradox, talking about the fact that so many plants have these anti-nutrients, these phytic acids, these inhibitors that really wreak havoc on our gut and they're very insidious and people just don't expect that these things could be part of their problem. So for example, almond flour, which is being hailed as a safe flour to do mm -hmm. baked goods, yet 
many people there's a there's an inhibitor in this skin in the almonds. So now some people are actually buying skinless almond flour. Yeah, in fact, all seeds have the that little outward part that's, exactly. in the sh that's inside the shell itself. So I think itself. that's, that's going to be a book that I'm going to have to read. It sounds like a very interesting book and the, the point of the whole thing is is that these seeds are inherently bad because they have so much protection in them. Eating them once in a while is not going to do uh, anything bad to you once you're involved in the whole primal situation. So you eat a brownie with it in it or eat some bread with it in it. It's not going to harm you even if you it's use it. It's when you're doing it on one, a staple. one to two to three meals a day yeah, repeatedly. Yeah, using it as a staple. Yes, exactly. And I mean, the key thing here is it said well, you want to read more about these lectins, these phytic acids, and the role these play in autoimmunity and heart disease, the number one killer in this country. So again, these grains and sugars and these anti-nutrients become toxic to the body, create inflammation, heart disease. Yeah. So the next one, do not drink your food. Well, let's leave that to the next because we have a break coming okay. up. And uh, I just wanted to let, remind people that the Health Signals newsletter is out. Uh, and Hot stuff. Uh, yeah, a new one coming out next, uh, I think the week after next uh, month, this month. Really important to, you know, if you want to follow us in the show, these are the articles that are thrown in there that we discussed so you can go a little bit deeper and find things yourself That's so right. you can be motivated to make the change that you need to. like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back to Living a Primal Lifestyle, and we're talking about how to eat like a predator and not like a prey. One of the things you want to do is not 
drink your food. This is uh, no sodas and even diet sodas, folks. Those are no-nos. No sports drinks, no milk, no soy milk, no smoothies, fruit juices, no yogurt or vegetable drinks, even juicing. Um, tea, coffee, and mate are fine in moderation. Learn to drink your water. You can get used to it, and you'll find that these sodas and sweet drinks uh, do not quench your thirst. And you might be asking, well, wh why would we say not to drink juices, even vegetable juices? Many people, we, we think this can be fine in a cleansing situation mm -hmm. where you're doing a cleanse or something, but we're talking about daily living. And when we do this, we're, we're sending really rapid blood sugar into the body. And that's havoc for a primal person. A primal person keeps a humming blood sugar. Yeah, it's one of these uh, symptoms. If you wake up in the middle of the night and you're craving like orange juice or something like that, you're, uh, your you're blood, hypoglycemic. Yeah, your, your blood has dropped. Uh, your blood sugar and and, that's be, and and the low blood sugar is a result of having high blood sugar through right. the day. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So you're going up in that uh, roller coaster. Speaking kind of, of thing. sugar. Yeah. Do not eat table sugar or any of its equivalents. This includes the brown rice syrup, uh, agave, or agave, nectar. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of evaporated cane juice. There's all kinds of different sugars. The uh, equivalent of them, uh, the ones that are for your diet, those are worse, I think. Yeah, many of the synthetic diets, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the ones in the little colorful packages that are on every table in American restaurants. You know, even honey is basically a sugar. Uh, you know, just to preface, you know, we've had talks about where we think a little spoon of honey is good, like mm -hmm. maybe before, especially for someone who tends to be a little hypoglycemic that might need something. But uh, we're, we're kind of covering this article, and these are great things to help people make this switch so they can become a fat burner and live a more primal life. Yeah. You get your carbohydrates or sugars from plants and not their seeds. Prefer foods that are high in glucose and low in fructose, uh, particularly root starches like potatoes. Uh, only eat what your body needs, which is about 15 to 20 percent of the calories is plenty. So I don't even really think you need starches, but if you like them, and I do like them too once in a while. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, even like well, and then again, they're around at a certain time of year, and well, nature signals us that it might be a good time of year to have them. Yeah, but I don't think most Americans are getting that signal because it's available all year around. Exactly. It's not like, yeah, so one of the things uh, I talked about uh, while you were gone was uh, eating seasonally. And, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of these things are only around for a short period of time, which means that's the time to have them. Today's grocery store gives you no idea of what the seasonality is because Very there's little. a smorgasbord available. Yeah, we uh, actually are, what it looks like in the grocery store is whatever the holiday coming up is. Yeah. You know, it has nothing to do with the season. It's Halloween or it's Thanksgiving mm -hmm. or it's Christmas. Those are the things you see, but you don't right. see anything natural in there. You'll see a few pumpkins. That's about it. Yeah, that's exactly so. You know, uh, this is a, another important point. If you are active and not concerned with losing weight or trying to gain it, you'll want to eat more carbs than the average person trying to lose a few pounds. Sports nutrition is beyond the scope of this article, but in general, you know, the occasional starch refeed when necessary to fuel muscle glycogen uh, is, you know, much better than a constant diet of pasta or the daily side of rice or pasta. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and you know, energy bars. I see a lot of fitness people that are maintaining their blood sugar fix by constantly eating these little things that are high in sugar. Yeah, so one of the main things you have to remember is that fatty meat is your primary source of calories and nutrients. Quite a few mainstream paleo books and sources sugarcoat or dance around this, but it's really the truth. Is you, that, That's why I always say you fix everything palm of your hand, this is what the portion is, and this is what you start with is your protein from an animal, mm -hmm. normally. Mm -hmm. Now, there are situations where you don't, but that's normally how I build my meal, and then I add things to them if I want to. And that's, that's really a great point, and really these are the changes that can have a massive um, benefit and create those positive changes in your life. And you may be going through bread or cereal withdrawal yeah. uh, with periods in which you absolutely crave them and you notice the difference in how you feel, but you have to kind of push through it because yeah, you're forcing normal. your body to learn how to burn fat again yeah. and uh, leave those carbohydrates, uh, those excess carbohydrates behind. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. the situation is different for everybody. Sometimes it's a week or two and you have a little discomfort, you have some of those cravings, and then it passes. For some people, this lasts maybe two or three months, some people longer. Uh, and I always say that it takes 
takes about a year for your body to get used to the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And you really have to think in the long term. So don't get discouraged. If you fall off the wagon, so to speak, you get right back on again. It's not going to hurt you, but it'll help you to, you know, just remain vigilant and know that these cravings are normal and you just have to let them pass. That's right. And so we're all about eating real food, and uh, that way you don't have to worry about parceling out your addiction to junk foods. And, yeah. and we can kind of, you know, get those things out of our life and feel better. So there's, um, here's, some, here's another step, too, in this process. Yeah, it's basically saying eat food and not diesel fuel. And what they're trying to uh, accomplish here with that phrase is that you're going to buy these cuts of meats that we've been talking about, the fatty ones, and get your body to switch over to burning fat and not sugar, which is a much more stable fuel, which makes you feel better. And that really starts the process. Think of the day when your mom cooked your pork chop, and then there was a big thing of rice or pasta or cheese pasta. So you ate the center part of the pork chop and left all that fat because you were told it was bad for you. Yeah. But you then made sure you had room, you know, because that gave you room to eat that little pasta dish. Yeah. So now you don't put that pasta dish on there. And you, and you eat that fat. And, and that's the and first thing I go for is when, I mean, I'm always eating the fat around the trim. And if I... Right, we know now, but I can remember years. I mean, probably oh, you did too. You just, you thought, oh my gosh, I'm really asking for trouble if I eat that. Definitely, definitely. But you, you know, steak on the grill, you maybe sneak a little bit of Even that. Even when the Atkins steak. came out and it made sense to me, well, I still was avoiding fat in a way. We, just couldn't, we just couldn't believe yeah, that it could be it good go. for us, you yeah. know. So cook with butter, coconut oil, grass-fed tallow. Uh, you can use uh, the pig fat. You can use chicken fat. You can use any kind of healthy fat from a healthy mm -hmm. animal. And this is how you change your mind about these things is start using them. Yeah, and it's actually, guys, untrimmed cuts of meat are actually cheaper. So go ahead and take all that fat because many people don't want it. So they, 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 they say, oh, geez, you know, we'll go ahead and discount these. Get to know your butcher and talk to him about it and say, you know, you don't have to trim that for me. I'll trim it myself at home. And these are the fats that you can keep in the refrigerator and use as a base stock for soups or stews or anything else that you cook. You want to cook your eggs in it in the morning. That's what I use. I use uh, the uh, pork fat. Well, you know, this is one thing that this article says. I discourage lard unless it's from pastured pigs. Yeah, Store-bought lard is usually hydrogenated. Know your lard, folks. <laughs> you know, if you're, you know, look, you know, use the Weston A. Price yeah. uh, Foundation's food guide. That's a great source. They vet all the vendors of those products. And, yeah, I can help you if you need any yeah, And I really don't buy lard. I use the bacon grease uh, mm -hmm. from the real good bacon that I buy. And, and that's uh, the key point, though. Key point. Um, exactly. You know, I don't remember learning. Anything. Remember when we were... Talking about my buddy, what's his name? Oh, I'm drawing a blank. Ray Pete. Okay. Remember Ray Pete would talk about how he would take his bacon because he's remember he's the anti-poofa guy. Right. He doesn't want you eating omega sixes, which come from seed oils. Right. So if the average person's eating bacon and then they they eat it, that bacon came from a pig that was eating high omega six foods. Maybe so. So he would cook his bacon and then drain it and then recook it in coconut oil. Huh? And sort yeah. of infuse it with a sure. healthier that makes choice. A lot of sense. Yeah. So yeah. there's a lot of things you can do to make what you have healthier. Yeah. That's a good point. We'll continue with these top tips for being a predator and not a prey, eating primal, staying healthier. Stay with us. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionics, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. And welcome back. Uh, number two on this step is eating real food, of course. And what uh, we're talking about is cook with eggs and always eat the yolk of the eggs, yeah. something that we learned in the 80s that uh, we thought was not good for you. It's the best part of the It's like an upside-down world. We're realizing pretty much <laughs> anything we were told, do the opposite, and you'll be healthier. Yeah. And this is the big lie in itself. Do not eat vegetable oils. The term itself is a lie. There's no such thing as lettuce oil or broccoli oil. They're made from seeds, folks. Mm -hmm. And they're extracted using, uh, you know, hexene, using these solvents. Poisonous solvents, yeah. right. It and says here, if you can put it in a truck and the truck starts, it's not food. <laughs> And these oils you can That's definitely right. use for uh, gas. Uh, or, yeah. yeah, so, you know, guys, what does this mean? This means no French fries or other deep-fried foods, no potato chips or corn chips or any chips, no margarines or spreads or bogus butter substitutes, no mayonnaise or worse, Miracle Whip, which <laughs> is plastic whip. And you can basically ignore the whole snack aisle. It really makes getting in and out of the, the grocery store much easier. You, can, yeah. you ignore a lot of these useless aisles. Uh, you know, so this prohibition includes granola, which is just bird seeds stuck together with oil and sugar. Yeah. <laughs> That's an interesting way to think yeah, about it. Yeah, and uh, they say uh, extra virgin olive oil, cheese, avocados, and nuts are okay in moderation. And think of them as condiments. Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, if you, uh, after dinner, uh, grab a piece of cheese and it was a nice hunk of cheese or a, a whole uh, handful of nuts, you're probably your meal was insufficient in the type of protein and fat that you really need. Yeah, he says if you need it. to eat a can of nuts or a brick of cheese, you didn't need enough meat. You didn't get enough of your main protein. Yeah. I like the way you say, start with that palm, look for uh, a choice meat that's going to be your meal that'll fit in the palm, and then yeah. fill it in around there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that too. And the last thing is heavy cream, sour cream, full-fat yogurt. Uh, those things can be used. Whipping cream, I love whipping cream. They make delicious sauces, condiments, desserts. Use them in moderation, but remember that fatty meat is always the primary source of your calories and, and your energy. And I have to pay attention to that because I can get filled up with, say, a salad with nuts or, yeah. or um, even, obviously, coffee with my cream in it um, or cheese grated on my salad and some nuts, and then I'm, I realize I didn't really eat an animal protein, but I'm trying to use that cheese and nuts to get some protein, but yeah. 
Well, I always start with the first thing is always when I'm eating, I, I cut into the meat where the fat is, and I start eating that part of it, and now I'll go towards the center more. And then, lastly, I eat the vegetables and whatever else I have and dessert that may be. But it's always really important because that's how I gauge, gauge how hungry I am. Yeah. So if I stop eating the protein, I can still nibble on the other stuff, but the protein is enough, and usually my portion of protein is too large. I, I Like I said, I put it in the palm of my hand, but I might only eat half of it or three-quarters of it. Seems to be always some left over mm -hmm. because I'm satisfied. If you start eating the vegetables first, you may get more hungry and eat the whole darn thing. That's a good point, Nico. Yeah. Uh, Zitao says, uh, Geo Constanza, if my every thought is wrong, the opposite must be right. <laughs> That's like exactly it. right. Upside down world. Okay, so step number three is supplements for an imperfect world. And uh, we've talked about this often. We've, uh, uh, we've deleted a lot of the uh, vitamins and minerals in our soil. Therefore, the animals and us don't get the proper nutrition. Yeah, we're supplementing them because we're never getting them in the first place. So a lot of that rigmarole that we hear that we're getting everything we need in our food, ideally, in an ideal world, that would be true. But that's not what we have. We don't have an ideal world, so it's not true. But it's also some of the steps that we don't do. We don't go in the sun anymore. Right. You know, so these are, these are some of the things that we still have available to us, but we, we just don't do it because we, well, of course, we're in buildings all the time, but we've also been indoctrinated by our dermatologists saying, hey, wait a minute, uh, don't go in yeah, the sun. Yeah, I mean, someone made a comment to me, melanoma is caused by the sun. <laughs> Yeah, you would probably go. Uh, I think it's caused. Food. I think it's caused by the toxins in your food, mm -hmm. and you're not using the sun to create your own cholesterol sulfate and vitamin D. Yeah. So yeah. the first thing on the list is consider taking a supplement of vitamin D3. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's a good supplement. Better yet, be out in the sun. Yeah. But if probably and when, both. and probably this time of year, you know, you want to get yourself. It says here correct dosages to get yourself to 45 to 60. Um, and many people, I use. many people believe that we, we should be, we should search to be a little bit higher than that, especially coming into the fall. Yeah. Consider EPA and DHA or omega-3 supplementation. Yeah. These um, are found most naturally in seafood, but grass-fed animals are also a good choice. Yeah. And so one gram of EPA and a half gram of DHA can be helpful if you haven't eaten any fatty fish that day, more if you're pregnant or nursing. Yeah. Uh, remember that our ancestors really instinctively knew which animals had the more fat, mm -hmm. and they always went after those animals, uh, and that's in the uh, archaeological record. It's, mm -hmm. you know, we were after the large, big animals with more fat. That's what we wanted. Uh, it says here, flaxseed oil, ALA, is not an acceptable substitute. And why is that, Paige? Because our body is extremely inefficient right. in making that conversion. Uh, of converting the ALA into DHA that we require. And besides, its real name is linseed oil, and that's furniture polish, and furniture yeah. polish is not food. <laughs> now, um, that's interesting. It might actually be a medicine, just like turpentine, yeah. which that's something we need to talk about. Remind me, I want to talk about the turpentine right cure. Ahead. Yeah, you know, I mean, that, that's actually from the pine. But we'll talk yeah. about that more later. And then uh, the last one he recommends is consider chelated, uh, chelated, chelated. Excuse me, magnesium supplements. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you? I'm sorry, chelated, whatever, chelated. Well, I think both. Yeah, probably one's probably English, potato, one's American. Potato. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and these forms are, are highly uh, biodegradable. Uh, so uh, anything that has an A T E at the end of it. When you say magnesium uh, glycinate, Sulfate, yeah. uh, these types of That's magnesium. what it means. It's chelated. They're two, two minerals combined Bound together. together. Bound together, it makes it absorbable. Right. And the bioavailable forms of magnesium and the ones you should buy are the chelates in any form ending in eight, which citrate, glycinate, orotate are superior. Um, you know, we want to get 400, 500 milligrams a day is a good more start. More. Yeah. And magnesium oxide is not your preferable form unless you're um, needing to have some encouragement uh, to moving your bowels. Right. Because you will certainly move your bowels if you take magnesium oxide. Yeah, there's a certain dosage, level yeah. there, and you go above that mm -hmm. level, and all of a sudden it, it comes out like a stream. Yeah. So uh, the second or the number four in this, uh, we've covered the eating food and uh, eating it the right way and then uh, supplementing your uh, uh, nutrients. And now we have to kind of work on how do we exercise and how do we 
do the rest of the time that we're not eating. We got to find more time to play. Play like a predator would. Even play or work. Mm -hmm. You know, challenge yourself every day. Do something meaningful every day. And uh, in the exercise world, it really shifts from what I used to do, which is running mile after mile after mile, into doing these short burst routine, uh, like little sprints or jumping on a ball or jumping on a trampoline of some kind and doing it for a very short time. And the reason for this is more mimics what we used to do as an an our ancestors used to do. Because we were either running, we were working, for, or yeah, again. shoveling snow, digging dirt, splitting firewood, practicing these ag agility while you're doing these chores is really great. And also, of course, if you're doing shoveling snow and things like that, you're not used to it. Start earlier, so maybe with some hay, or go out and just dig some dirt. But use the right types of forms so you don't get injured too. So knowing how to shovel and knowing these things is an important step. Also, Paige and I'll be right back. That's right. I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. If you'd like to be the bank and get the type of interest they receive instead of the low interest rates they give to clients, then I have an investment you may want to take a look at. I'm offering four-year secured first mortgages on billable city lots in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment can be anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000 per billable city lot. The interest paid is 7% per year, paid monthly. Depending on the investment, the income per month per lot ranged from $175 for a $30,000 investment to $437.50 for a $75,000 investment. If you are in the CD market, you want to look at this investment. St. Petersburg is located in Pinellas County, which is the densest county in Florida. If you're looking for an investment with your principal intact that pays a good interest rate, this may be for you. The supply is limited, so act now. For more information on these secured first mortgage opportunities, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. No matter where you're listening to TFNN programming, you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Android devices. Located in the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage, you can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.MOBI in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and call-in talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. tips on how to play like a predator you know don't exercise don't do cardio the only way to get healthier is to push your limits you will lose more weight and gain more strength from those periodic bursts that Nico referred to before the break those short intense exercises that drive you farther than hours and hours of treadmill style cardio uh, you're a human not a hamster so get <laughs> off that treadmill <laughs> that's right so drive to work then drive to the health club that doesn't really make a lot of sense does it so uh, what you can do do, however, is uh, when you go to the mall, park in the back, 
Mm -hmm. Park way out by the street and walk in. Uh, walking in the mall is something a lot of people do. So, you know, I think getting out and doing more, your walk every single day. I often said to my parents, "This is the, that was their constitution in a sense. Yes. Is taking their daily walk before dinner, uh, sometimes after dinner. But uh, these are some of the things that I grew up with, and these are instilled. You know, Ellen and I are going to uh, uh, Colorado this summer. And one oh, yeah. of the things that we're going to start probably February, March, is start doing our walking with our backpacks and things. So getting prepared. Getting to... prepared again. So you're used yeah. to these types of things. So you know, there's a lot of things you can do in exercise. You don't have to have a gym membership. Uh, I told one of my friends the other day, he asked me, what's the best exercise in the world? I said, get down to the ground and get back up. Mm -hmm. If you do that a hundred times a day, you'll be a very healthy human being. You don't have to go crazy. Lots of things that we do are a lot of fun, like jiu-jitsu and all these sports that we do. So get involved in things like that. Get to know what these the downsides of these things are. So if you get injured or when you get injured, you can rehab yourself or prevent injury by just doing the teeth. Uh, techniques better but find something that you're passionate in so you're going to do it every single day and the other thing too Paige is that getting rest too often we're always striving to do this striving to do that and we forget that our body needs rest mm -hmm. not just the nighttime rest I'm talking about sometimes we just have to take a break when you come back to doing your things you think you're lost but you're really not because your body has all that memory of doing those things thousands and thousands of times that's right that's right yeah so you know you will stop giving your time love and strength to those that demand it start giving it to those who deserve it that's a great tip you will understand that love thy fellow man as thyself doesn't apply to someone with his hands in your pockets or his gun in your face no matter whose authority they claim you have compassion for the herd as it moves and bleats for you were so recently one of them yourself that's talking about being a leader and taking charge of your life yeah, most likely uh, if you get on this program, you'll be sleeping better. You'll be uh, putting more effort moving into better. Yeah, moving better. Thinking better. Yeah, thinking uh, the, the world is kind of a playground now instead of, uh, you know, uh, the other way around where everything is work. I have to do this. I have to do that. No, you want to do it because that's what makes you feel good. Uh, I took a week off jiu-jitsu a, a while ago and, oh, God, I was depressed almost. And why am I depressed? I didn't even connect the two until I went back and boom right away big smiling face when I came home mm -hmm. and I goes oh yeah now that's, I remember well that's kind of how I felt getting back on my yoga mat remember I mentioned to you yes just uh, you know as I was sitting there I was like hmm I'm not moving the way I used to move <laughs> but the fact that I'm getting there and every day feels a little bit better mm -hmm. I'm doing a little bit better yeah. and you're not competing with yourself or anyone else you're just trying to be your best every day and as Nico said, we just got to find some time to play and play and be yourself. Yeah, and if you don't have a passion for any of these things, uh, start taking some classes from some professionals. Take one class here, one class there, something that might sound good or something that you did in the past. And I mean, how much we don't see adults playing so much. We don't see them hopscotching like the kids do on the sidewalk. These are fun little activities that you can do with your children. And believe me, they would love to have you there playing with them. And this was really great because, uh, you know, just getting, you know, kind of wrapping this up, this guy who wrote this article, um, he's got a website called Knowles.org, G-N-O-L-L-S.org, and he's, he's quite prolific in his writing, has a little sense of humor, so if you're really looking for some guidance and having to, how to become uh, a more primal eater, a more primal living person. Yeah, it's called Eat Like a Predator, Not Like a Prey, a six-step uh, program for the primal or paleo diet. A That's it today, diet. guys. Yep. We'll have to see you next time. Hope you have a great day. Stay healthy. Thanks for sticking around. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his 
subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.